Yo, what's going on, guys? We are back. Boys, we are getting so close to Madden 22, of course. The 12th at midnight. Maybe a little bit early. You always want to stay aware on Twitter and everything. Always make sure you follow me on Twitter. The sub times, maybe even the 11th, EA Access will go live and we will be able to play Madden 22 at a 10 hour limit. There might be some methods or loopholes how to be able to get extra hours. If there are, I'll definitely be able to do videos on that. So make sure you guys have notifications on you guys are subscribed but i'm super excited we're a few days away it's gonna be somewhere around the 11th or 12th so i really wanted to start getting into some of the stuff that i'm really excited about that i've been noticing of course i just spent like six seven days in the hospital so i've been able to read over everything look over everything watch a lot of lot videos about other people breaking it down absorb all the information and uh, this is some of the stuff that i'm really really excited about and one of the things is definitely is this new chemistry how the strategies are going to work the chemistries are basically out in the building it's all about strategies super excited about that let's jump into it need some coins mmo exp yes they are real no they aren't instant no one is but they are reliable and the cheapest around use code scomo for five percent off get you some coins stack your team get those dubs boys so the, the light up screen is going to look somewhat similar. It definitely looks like the, lay, the layout, offense, defense, special team, specialist, and now strategy is added in. But the layout is pretty much the same as last year. You can see over on the far right also, you're going to have some of those like West Coast strength. It looks like some of those other strategies are going to be kicking in over there. So you can see that on the right. They never really highlighted that part to kind of like break it down in the depth. But what we have seen, we can still look at it and definitely get a really good idea of what's going on. So first thing is first is there are different levels to the strategies and you can power them up. So what are strategies? Strategies basically are going to be the chemistries, the team chemistries that you put on your offense and your defense. Like go deep and lock down are no longer like put on your offense and defense where you got to put it on every single player to get like locked down all the way maxed out. You don't have to do that anymore, which makes it so much easier and smoother because especially like if you would get like a new card, right? And you're like, oh, I can get this guy to this threshold and like he'll be a little bit better so maybe you need like mid out or something like that right you need his mid uh route running to be a little bit higher is what i mean right so you would maybe have to change your strategy or chemistry last year but you would have to change it on everyone and you're like bro there's no way i'm doing that because it takes forever and it costs a lot now you're able to add one item to your your lineup basically that's going to cover everyone so as you're building your team, in my mind, you are, it's a lot easier to switch. You're like, oh, I'm going to be able to use this guy in weekend league this time. And then next weekend you get a different guy. It's easy to switch your strategy now rather than switching your chemistry and taking hours and hours. So that's the first thing that I was like super excited about. The next thing that you need to pay attention to is going to be the levels of the chemistry. Not only can you power up each strategy, but the strategy items have a rarity level to go along with that. So you have common, you have uncommon, you have rare, and they could add better ones as the game goes on, you know, maybe legendary ones or you know ultra rare or something like that they definitely could do which maybe starts adding you know speed or something else later on down the line now you can see the rare right here is going to add man co coverage press coverage play wreck tackling catching traffic or just catching i think that is so you can see the man to man rare is going to give you that boost to man the boost to catching the blues boost to play wreck to, to press and a tackling all from the rare and then you can see on the uncommon for lurker instead of the rare giving you one two three four five the uncommon only gives you four and the common then gives you three so you can see that it keeps on giving you that boost but then as you power them up it's going to be how much does it give you on the man how much does it give you on the catching or that kind of stuff so that's really cool because it's it's just easier to switch around on every single guy now the other stuff i mean we we could look it looks like most of the strategies are kind of based off the same chemistries and ideas they there are some different ones in there 
but there's a lot of the same stuff. So you got man to man. Lurk is obviously a different strategy, new strategy, I should say. West Coast, they kind of brought that over. Elite Passer, that's new. And then they got a Mind Reader. That looks like it could be really, really cool. With uh, it's just depending. I mean, it's only boosting an awareness, but like it sounded cool. But then I look at <laughs> then I looked at the stats. I'm like, maybe, maybe it's not. But it, it could maybe get you to a threshold where it's gonna make a guy better but that's the thing that i'm super excited about that it just adds new stuff easier way to do things you got secure tackler bring anything that says awareness i i feel like that's going to be a waste right you're definitely going to want the ones that like maximize and and maybe as they go up maybe it's not only more but it could be different so these are common with awareness right maybe mind reader when it's uncommon not only adds another one but maybe it removes awareness or adds a better different one or or, or or something because we haven't seen the full depth of it all all we've seen is these screenshots so i would really like that i'm i'm excited i'm excited that they added this new easy to switch stuff around and I think this is going to be really cool to help build our team. The other thing that they did mention in the blog was there's going to... Okay, so you're going to be able to obtain these in packs. You're probably going to be able to obtain these by like solo challenges or maybe some of the level passes that we're going through. I think they definitely showed that, you know, instead of the leveling that they did, there's different seasons. So there, there's going to be strategy rewards for the different seasons also. They're going to be in packs, but then there's also going to be exchange sets. So there's going to be a lot of different ways that you can get these different strategies, which, which is also really cool because maybe some of these things are going to be super rare and very expensive. Maybe they have an ultra rare speed one. That would be expensive. I think this is going to be a good part of the pre-order that it was kind of like overlooked, but if getting the elite passer Adding some of those boosts to all your cards right away because once again beginning of the game You really never worried about chemistry because it was so much training now you get an elite passer as the pre-order You just put that in and your whole team has the boost. It's a really good offer for the pre-order So if you do a uh, pre-order you do get the elite pass order. I think it's any of the additions Yes, it says all additions. So even if you get the base edition you're still going to get the elite passer strategy item, which I, I think this is going to be one of the best pre-order items that we can get. I also think they're going to probably add different strategies, maybe the over the year or, or maybe not. I, I do think they're going to add different strategies, maybe not just rarity levels, but new strategies to them also. I'd be, especially since they're going to be putting them in packs. It just gives so many options that they can do later on in the year. I don't know because they're not like doing the speed boost and that kind of stuff that could bring room for motivators but then they could use the stuff for like motivators to just bring out different strategies there's all kinds of different stuff that they can do but once again i just like that it's new i think this is going to be really cool what would be some of the strategies that you would want to go for uh i really like lurker lurker elite i bet was going to be really 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 good uh, West Coast Elite, Elite Passer that we're going to be able to get at the beginning of the game for pre-order is probably going to be really good. I like that Lurker. If we can get Lurker Elite and then maybe the Elite Passer at the start of the game have two Elite ones, I think that would be pretty good. That would be my goal. If there's any other strategies that you think would be good to get at the beginning, please comment those down below. But I greatly do appreciate everyone. Hopefully this is some good information for you guys. If you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments. Appreciate you. We're almost there, boys. Almost to Mad 22. We out. Peace.